So, well today we will discuss, in fact we are going to start a new topic and that one is a differential equation. So, today we will define this term differential equation, how can we define this differential equation. Then classifications of differential equations, like we can classify differential equation as ordinary differential equation and second one is partial differential equations. Then how can we define order of a differential equation and degree of a differential equation. Then what is the geometrical meaning of differential equation, okay. what is the geometrical meaning of the differential equation of first order and first degree even what is the geometrical interpretation of solution of a differential equation, we will discuss today. Okay. Then uh, how can we formulate a differential equation? If we have given a equation of a curve, then how can we formulate a dif differential equation? Okay. So, all these topic we will discuss today. And today's lecture is a fundamental about differential equations. So, to describe, understand and predict the behavior of physical process to describe, understand and predict the behavior of physical process or a system, a mathematical model is constructed. Okay. So, for describing a physical system okay, or physical process, to understand the physical process, to predict the behavior. Okay. So, a method, mathematical model is constructed, mathematical model is constructed by relating the variables by relating the variables by means of one or more equations, one or more equations. Usually these equations describing the system in motion are differential equations. Okay. Usually these equations describing the system in motion are differential equations and these differential equations involving derivatives which measure the rate of rates of change, the behavior and interaction of components of the system. Okay. So, question is what is differential equation? A differential equation is an equation which involves derivatives. Okay. Suppose y is a function of x, y is equal to f x, then d y over d x, that one is a derivative of y with respect to x. So, any equation which involves such type of derivatives is known as differential equation. Okay. So, in many branches of science and engineering, we come across equations, we come across equations which contains besides the dependent and independent variables, different derivatives of the dependent variable with respect to independent variables or variables. So, jab bhi aap science and engineering mein different different physical systems ko study karoge, theek hai, to is type ki equations aapko dekhne ko milegi, clear? So, dependent or independent variable to honge honge on relations mein, but we have derivatives of dependent variable with respect to independent variables also exist in those type of equations. Okay. So, we come across all these type of problems in various branches of science and engineering. For example, these equations are called differential equations like this e raised to power x dx plus e raised to power dy is equal to 0. This equations involves derivatives, okay. d derivatives e raised to power x dx plus e raised to power y dy is equal to 0. Similarly, d square x over dt square plus n square x is equal to 0. So, this part, this part involves the derivative, okay. So, this one is a differential equation y is equal to x dy over dx plus x over dy over dx. So, this these two terms involves derivatives, clear. Similarly, 1 plus dy over dx square power 3 by 2 divided by d square y over dx square is equal to c. This, this function, this equation also involves derivatives. So, in addition to dependent and independent variables, we have derivatives of dependent variable with respect to independent variables. So, dx over dt minus wy is equal to a cos pt also involves derivative. Okay. So, this one is a differential equation, dy over dt minus wx is equal to a sin pt, this one is also a differential equation. So, it may be a system which, which have two equations, which have two differential equations. Okay. So, there exist many uh, these type of uh, systems where uh, more than one differential equations exist. Okay. Similarly, x curly over curly x plus y curly over curly y is equal to 2u. 
Now, this also involves derivative, but in this case, derivatives are not ordinary derivatives, but here we have partial derivatives, okay. So, in this case, u is a function of x and y, so you can differentiate u with respect to x partially, you can differentiate u with respect to y partially. So, which involves partial derivatives, that one is a partial differential equation, in fact, differential equation, okay, in short. So, curly square y over dt, curly square, uh, curly t square is equal to c square, curly square y over curly x square. So, this equation also involves derivatives, may be ordinary, may be partial. Okay. So, are these are the examples of differential equations. Now, next part is how we can classify these type of differential equations. So, differential equations are classified into two categories. Okay. First one is ordinary, ordinary as and second one is partial, right, depending on the number of independent variables appearing in the equation. Okay. So, differential equations are classified into two categories, ordinary and second one is partial and that category depend upon the number of independent variables. Suppose, uh, we, if we have one independent variable, then we can classify that differential equation as an ordinary differential equation, okay. Suppose, we have more than one independent variables, then we can classify that differential equation as a partial differential equations, okay. So, what is ordinary differential equation? Ordinary differential equation is, if there is a single independent variable like y is equal to f x, x is independent variable, y is dependent variable which depend upon x, x is independent variable, okay. So, if there is a single independent variable and the derivatives are ordinary derivatives, ordinary derivatives, okay. Obviously, when y is a function of x, then there exist ordinary derivatives, not partial derivatives because independent variables is one, right. So, if there is a single independent variable and the derivatives are ordinary derivatives, then that equation is called ordinary differential equations. For example, this one is an ordinary differential equation, right. This one is an ordinary differential equation, clear, where t is dependent, uh, independent variable and x is dependent variable. Clear? So, we can differentiate dependent variable with respect to independent variable, right. And this example is also an ordinary differential equation. This one is the example of ordinary differential equation and these two equations also are ordinary differential equations. So, these are the examples of ordinary differential equations which involves single independent variable, right, and the derivatives are ordinary derivatives, clear. So, these type of uh, equations are ordinary differential equations. This means equations which involve only one independent variable are called ordinary differential equations, clear. In other words, okay, equations which involve only one independent variable are called ordinary differential equations or in compact form you can write ODE, ordinary differential equation, okay. Now, second one is partial differential equation. So, if there are two or more independent variables, independent, clear, two or more independent variables and the derivatives are partial derivatives, clear, and derivatives are partial derivatives, then the equation is called, that equation is called partial differential equation. For example, x curly u over curly x plus y curly u over curly y is equal to 2 u. This one is the example of partial differential equation. Here, uh, we differentiate u partially with respect to x, we differentiate u partially with respect to y. So, that one is a partial differential equation. Similarly, curly square y over curly t square is equal to c square curly square y over curly x square, this one is also a partial differential equation, okay. This means, in other words, we can define like this way, equations which involves partial differential coefficients with respect to, partial differential coefficients, these are the partial differential coefficients with respect to more than one independent variable, more than one independent variable are called partial differential equations, okay. So, these are two classifications of ordinary, uh, sorry, or differential equation. First one is ordinary differential equation and second is uh, this partial differential equation, okay. Ab is pure process mein, uh, aapko order or degree ke baare mein pata hona chahiye. What is order of a differential equation? what is the degree of a differential equation. So, order of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivative which occurs, highest derivative, theek hai, agar kahi pe d square y over d x square hai, ye highest derivative hai, theek hai na second, okay. So, that, that order is, that number is 
order of the differential equation. Okay? So, the order of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivative highest derivative koi bhi differential equation hai usme dy over dx bhi hoga usme d square y over dx square bhi hoga d cube y over dx cube bhi ho sakta hai to jo highest order ka derivative exist karega that one is the order of the differential equation clear in fact usse kam wale bhi exist karenge but order ki jo definition hai that one is the highest order of the highest derivative which occurs in the equation okay so thus an ordinary differential equation is said to be order n if nth derivative of y, if nth derivative of y with respect to x is the highest derivative of y in that equation, clear? And the idea of the order of a differential equation leads to a useful classification of the equations into equations of first order, second order and so on, okay? So, बहुत बार आपको इस टाइप के आगे प्रोसेस में आएंगे ordinary differential equation of first order, ordinary differential equation of second, second order, ठीक है? तो order का concept इसलिए important है, ताकि हम उसको classify कर पाएं, equations को classify कर पाएं, और हर order, हर different different orders की differential equation को solve करने के अपने अपने methods है, right? So, all these things are very very important. So, next one is, what is degree of a differential equation? हम degree किसको बोलेंगे? बहुत सारे students जो हैं, वो order और degree में confusion create करते हैं, right? What is degree? Degree of a differential equation is the degree of the highest derivative. मान लो कोई differential equation है, जिसमें dy over dx भी लगा हुआ है, d square y over dx square भी लगा हुआ है, d cube y over dx cube भी लगा हुआ है, ठीक है? तो इसमें आपने देखना है, कि जो highest order है, उसकी power कितनी है? that one is the degree clear the degree of a differential equation is the degree of the highest derivative which occurs right that one is the degree of a differential equation okay ab dekhiye in teen char examples ko dekhiyega theek hai first equation this one is a differential equation okay this one is a differential equation of first order and first degree dekhiye dy over dx ya dx over dy ki form mein likha ja sakta hai aur ye highest इसका ऑर्डर है तो उसकी जो डिग्री है वो वन है क्लियर डी वाई ओवर डी एक्स पावर वन सो हियर डिग्री ऑर्डर इज वन एंड डिग्री इज वन नो सी दिस एग्जांपल हियर ऑर्डर इज टू एंड डिग्री इज वन रीजन इज डिग्री इज वन मींस लाइक दिस दैट वन इज वन डी स्क्वायर एक्स ओवर डी टी स्क्वायर पावर वन सो डिग्री इज वन बट ऑर्डर इज दिस टू नो इन दिस केस वट हैपन्ड इन दिस केस is clear the first order, okay, dy over dx, dy over dx लगा हुआ है, but जब आप इसको simplify करोगे, तो ये dy over dx square हो जाएगा, जब ये multiply करोगे, तो ये square हो जाएगा, तो dy over dx square हो जाएगा, तो इसका मतलब जो order है, जो degree है, that one is second, second degree, okay, इस example को देखिएगा, इसमें highest जो order है, वो है two, clear, highest order two है, और इसकी degree one है, तो order इसका two है, और degree जो है, वो इसकी this degree okay इसको थोड़ा simplify करके लिखा हुआ right ये three by two है उसको square करके लिखा हुआ है तो ये square करके लिखोगे तो इसकी power two आपको बन जाएगी ठीक है so that one is a ordinary differential equation of second order and second degree so in this way you can see the order and degree of a differential equation now one more important thing is what is linear differential equation what is non-linear differential equation तो उसकी क्या प्रॉपर्टीज हैं, क्या कंडीशंस हैं, जब आप कह पाओगे कि ये जो ordinary differential equation है, ये linear differential equation है, ये non-linear differential equation है, so this part is also very very important, okay? So an nth order ordinary differential equation in dependent variable y is said to be linear in y if y is dependent variable, okay? Y is dependent variable, so y is a function of x. Suppose y is a function of x, so y is dependent variable. So an nth order ordinary differential equation in the dependent variable y is said to be linear in y if dependent variable y and its derivatives are of degree one. Are of degree one. तो देखिए इसका मतलब ये है कि y y की power two नहीं होनी चाहिए, y की power three नहीं होनी चाहिए. अगर किसी भी डिफरेंशियल क्वेश्चन में डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल की पावर टू या थ्री आ गई तो वो नॉन लीनियर डिफरेंशियल क्वेश्चन हो जाएगी ऑन द सेम लाइन इट्स डेरिवेटिव डी वाई ओवर डी एक्स सो डी वाई ओवर डी एक्स की जो पावर है वो वन होनी चाहिए टू थ्री और इससे ज्यादा होगी तो वो डिफरेंशियल क्वेश्चन नॉन लीनियर डिफरेंशियल क्वेश्चन हो जाएगी ओके सो द डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल वाई एंड इट्स इट्स डेरिवेटिव आर ऑफ डिग्री वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड सेकेंड 
no product terms of y and or any of its derivative are present. So, कहीं पर ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि y और dy over dx का product की existence हो किसी भी differential equation में. अगर कहीं पे भी कोई term इस type से है y dy over dx, then that equation is a non-linear differential equation. Okay? So, no product terms of y and or any of its derivatives are present. Clear? So, this means that dy over dx into d square y over dx square, this is not the product. Clear? It is not the product of any type of derivative. And third one is no transcendental functions of y and or its derivatives agar. For example, e raised to power x. So, you can write e raised to power x in the expanded version. So, this type of terms should not be the involvement in that equation. If these type of terms are coming, then the equation will become your non-linear differential equation ban jayegi okay so an ordinary differential equation is said to be non-linear if y and its derivatives all its derivatives are of degree more than one number one product terms of y and or any of its derivatives are present and transitional functions of y and or its derivatives occur okay in tino conditions a bilkul reverse Okay, so that one is non-linear differential equations and a linear differential equation is of first degree differential equation, but a first degree differential equation need not to be, need not to be linear since it may contain non-linear terms such as y square, y square agar aagaya dependent variable hai, y square ki involvement aagi, to jabki wo differential equation to ordinary hogi, first degree ki hogi, first order ki hogi, lekin y square ki involvement hai, तो आपकी non-linear equation हो जाएगी, okay? So this means uh, in first order, first degree differential equation need not to be linear because it may contain non-linear terms such as y square, y power minus one by two, e raised to power y, sine y, etc. Okay? So remember all these remarks. अब देखिए कुछ example करके देखते हैं। अब आप बताइएगा इसमें ये क्लासिफिकेशन क्या है क्या वो गिवन इक्वेशन ऑर्डिनरी है क्या गिवन इक्वेशन आपकी पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन है वो आपने बताना है उसका ऑर्डर क्या है उसकी डिग्री क्या है ठीक है और उसके बाद ये भी बताना है कि ये लीनर है कि नॉन लीनर है लेट अस ट्राई फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स ओके सो डी वाई ओवर डी एक्स इजिकल टू के एक्स स्क्र ऑब्वियसली दिस वन इज एन ऑर्डिनरी ओके ऑर्डर इज वन राइट डी वाई ओवर डी एक्स डिग्री इज वन नो प्रॉब्लम एंड कोई भी ऐसी टर्म नहीं है जिसमें y स्क्वायर लगा हो या d y ओवर d x का स्क्वायर लगा हो, ओके? सो दिस इक्वेशन इज लीनियर, क्लियर? ओके? नाउ सी, दिस एग्जांपल d y ओवर d x प्लस p x y इज इक्वल टू y n q x। नाउ दिस वन इज एन ऑब्वियसली ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल क्वेश्चन, पार्शियल, पार्शियल जहाँ भी लगेगा वहाँ कर ली टाइप का सिंबल ठीक है, लेकिन ये लीनियर हो सकती है, कब हो सकती है? When n की वैल्यू जीरो या वन की जाए, तब तो ये लीनियर हो जाएगी। अदरवाइज y की वैल्यू टू, थ्री, फोर होगी, तो y स्क्वायर, y क्यूब हो जाएगा, तो ये आपकी ये आपकी फिर नॉन लीनियर इक्वेशन बन जाएगी, ओके? So this one is e raised to power x dx plus e raised to power y dy is equal to zero. This one is ordinary, one, one and non-linear in x and y, क्योंकि इसमें exponential term, transcendental functions जो हैं ठीक है ना उनकी इन्वॉल्वमेंट हो रही है ठीक है सो दिस वन इज नॉन लीनियर इन एक्स एंड वाई ओके नाउ दिस इक्वेशन हाईएस्ट ऑर्डर इज दिस ओके सो ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन नो डाउट एंड ऑर्डर इज थ्री एंड डिग्री इज फोर एंड दिस इक्वेशन इज नॉन लीनियर ओके रीजन इज ड्यू टू दिस रीजन ड्यू टू दिस रीजन ओके दिस वन इज ड्यू टू दिस रीजन ओके दिस वन इज नॉन लीनियर Differential equations, okay. Even due to this reason, sin x y, इसको आप expand करोगे, तो y square भी आएगा, y cube भी आएगा, तो ultimately ये non-linear terms हैं, okay. Non-linear differential equation है. Now this example, this one is an ordinary, no doubt, and order is two, degree is one, and this one is non-linear. Reason is y into derivative, okay. So no term like this exists. In a linear differential equation, okay. So due to this term, this differential equation is non-linear, okay. Now here, ordinary, right? Order is one, degree is one, but non-linear. Reason is involvement of y square, okay. Involvement of y square if y is dependent, okay. If x is dependent, then involvement of x square leads to this equation, a non-linear differential equation. Now 
this one is an ordinary right order is 4 due to this term okay and degree is this power is 1 okay and <coughs> this one is <coughs> non linear differential equation due to the presence of power 5 okay power 5 so due to this okay is equal to 0 so due to this term this this differential equation is non linear differential equation now see this one is an ordinary no doubt okay order is 1 degree is 1 and this equation is देखिए अगर इस टाइप से फॉर्मेशन लिखी हो तो आप थोड़ा कंफ्यूज तो रहोगे कि ये इसमें डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल क्या है इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल क्या है ठीक है तो आपने दोनों केसेस को डिस्कस करना है अगर तो y डिपेंडेंट है तब तो ये नॉन लीनियर है और अगर x आपकी डिपेंडेंट है क्लियर तो ये आपका लीनियर है ओके दिस पार्ट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो अगर y डिपेंडेंट है देन ड्यू टू दिस रीजन दिस इक्वेशन इज नॉन लीनियर बट अगर x आपका डिपेंडेंट uh, है देन हियर x नो x स्क्वायर ओके so this equation is linear now in this case differential this ordinary differential equation order is 2 and degree is 6 so 2 here yeah, this power 6 okay and this one is non linear differential equation okay due to this derivative square derivative square okay so uh, degree more than 1 right and now this one is partial differential equation this one is partial differential equation right and here order is 2 okay here order is 2 and degree is obviously 1 and both these equations are linear differential equations clear and finally this one is an ordinary differential equation order is 2 d square r over d s square so order is 2 this degree is 1 isko aap solve kar lo theek hai to ye square ho jayega 6 power ho jayegi aur ye banega d square r over d s square plus 1 so this equation is non uh, non linear differential equation due to the presence of dr over ds power 6 okay so these are the examples mujhe lagta hai ki ye jitne bhi examples hain inko karne ke baad aapko order degree linearity ye sab kuch clear ho chuka hoga theek hai now question next is what is the solution of a differential equation ab hum main point pe aate hain differential equation to ban gayi theek hai ab wo jo differential equation hai uska solution kya hai what is the meaning of solution of a differential equation a solution of a differential equation is a relation is a relation free from derivatives free from derivatives okay between the variables between the variables which satisfy the given differential equation okay so the that one is the relation between the variables free from derivatives which satisfy the given differential equation that one is the solution okay for example x is equal to a cos n t plus alpha is this one is the solution of this differential equation okay this one is the solution of this differential equation ab aap ek bar isko differentiate karo with respect to t ek bar fir se differentiate karo with respect to t aapki ye equation aa jayegi okay so this means this one is the solution of a differential equation now next one is what is the general solution what is how you can define complete solution of a differential equation the complete solution of a differential equation is that solution in which the number of independent arbitrary constants is equal to the order of the differential equation agar aapka order hai aapka d square y over dx square two order hai theek hai to aapke jo constants hai arbitrary jo constants hai theek hai na wo aapke do hone chahiye us equation mein ठीक है ना उस इक्वेशन में उस एक्सप्रेशन में दो आर्बिट्ररी कांस्टेंट्स आपके होने चाहिए तो जितने आर्बिट्ररी कांस्टेंट्स हैं वो उतने ही होने चाहिए ठीक है ना जितना आपका डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन का ऑर्डर दे रखा हुआ है अगर आपका ऑर्डर 3 है तो तीन कांस्टेंट्स आने चाहिए सॉल्यूशन में ठीक है और अगर आपका दो अगर आपका ऑर्डर 2 है तो टू कांस्टेंट्स आने चाहिए और अगर आपका ऑर्डर 1 है तो वन कांस्टेंट आना चाहिए ठीक है सो इफ द नंबर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट आर्बिट्ररी कांस्टेंट्स इज इक्वल टू द ऑर्डर ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन देन दैट सॉल्यूशन इज कॉल्ड कंप्लीट सॉल्यूशन इन अदर वर्ड्स जनरल सॉल्यूशंस ओके दस x is equal to a cos n t plus alpha is the general solution why why because here the number of arbitrary constants are a and alpha this a and this one is alpha okay and differential equation of order 2 differential equation of order 2 so due to this reason this one is the general solution of this differential equation and reason is simple you can explain because the number of arbitrary constants a alpha is same as the order of the differential equation 
ठीक है तो इस ढंग से आपको जनरल सोल्यूशन भी निकालना पड़ सकता है ठीक है और देखिए पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन क्या होगा आप पर्टिकुलर वैल्यूज इन कॉन्स्टेंट्स की दे दीजिएगा ठीक है अगर आप यहां पर्टिकुलर वैल्यूज ए इज फाइव सपोज देन दैट वन इज अ पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन ओके बाई असाइनिंग ए पर्टिकुलर वैल्यूज टू दिस कॉन्स्टेंट्स यू विल गेट द पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो ए पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन इज दैट विच कैन बी ऑबटेन्ड फ्रॉम द जनरल सोल्यूशन by giving particular values to the arbitrary constants okay so that solution is called particular solution for example x is equal to a cos nt plus alpha alpha is pi over 4 okay so pi over 4 yahan par humne ek specific value de di hai alpha ki clear so this one is the particular solution of the equation 2 as it can derived from the general solution one by putting alpha is equal to pi by 2 और जनरल सॉल्यूशन कब होगा तो आपको दो कांस्टेंट जो है वो आपको बताने पड़ेंगे ठीक है तो यहां पर ये कांस्टेंट है ठीक है ये कांस्टेंट है बट इसकी एक स्पेसिफिक वैल्यू दे दी गई है ओके सो ड्यू टू दिस रीजन दिस वन इज अ पर्टिकुलर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ nth ऑर्डर इज इट्स पर्टिकुलर सॉल्यूशन इफ इट कंटेंस लेस देन n आर्बिटरी कांस्टेंट्स n arbitrary constants yahan par dekhiye ye to arbitrary constant bana hai but ye arbitrary nahi hai ye to fix hai okay to ye aapka general solution to ho nahi sakta theek hai to agar aapka order 5 hai differential equation ka aur arbitrary constants 4 hai to wo aapka particular solution hoga kyunki ek jo next arbitrary constant hai uski value aapne fix ki hai theek hai so the solution of a differential equation of nth order is its particular solution if it contains less than n arbitrary Constants. This part is very very important. Okay, a differential equation may have many solutions. Let us illustrate this fact by the following example. Now, each of the function. देखिए आप इस result को देखिए, इस result को देखिए, इस result को देखिए. These three are the solutions of the differential equation. This. जब आप इसको derivative लोगे, ठीक है? तो आपका ये expression satisfy होगा. ये equation satisfy होगी. जब इस इस रिलेशन से ये इक्वेशन सेटिस्फाई हो रही है इसका मतलब ये आपका सोल्यूशन है ये भी सोल्यूशन है ये भी सोल्यूशन है ये भी सोल्यूशन है ओके एज वी नो दैट वी नो फ्रॉम कैलकुलस दैट एवरी सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन इज ऑफ द फॉर्म दिस वाई इज इक्वल टू साइन एक्स प्लस सी क्लियर वेयर सी इज कॉन्स्टेंट इफ वी रिगार्ड सी इज आर्बिटरी देन वाई इज इक्वल टू साइन एक्स प्लस सी रिप्रेजेंट द टोटलिटी ऑफ ऑल सोल्यूशन ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन so this one is a general solution of the differential equation when you substitute c is equal to 0 or c is equal to 3 or c is equal to minus 4 by 5 so that one is the particular solutions of the differential equation so a differential equation may have many solutions clear to wo chahe particular solutions ki baat kare general solution to ek hi hoga but jahan particular solution ki baat kare to we get infinite number of solutions from that uh, general solution which which are obtained from the general solutions so this example illustrates that a differential equation may and in general will have more than one solution okay more than one solution even infinitely many solutions even infinitely many solutions which can be represented by a single formula involving an arbitrary constant c such a function which contains an arbitrary constant is called general solution of the corresponding differential equation of the first order and if we assign a different value to that constant then solution so obtained is called particular solution of the differential equation okay so one more thing one more definition what is singular solution ab aap dekhiye aapne general solution nikala aapne particular solution ko define kiya theek hai to particular solution to general solution se aa raha hai lekin iske ilawa bhi kuch aise solution exist karte hain jo general solution se evaluate nahi honge theek hai general solution mein constant ki jo arbitrary constants hai unki ek particular value fix karoge to aapka particular solution ban jayega क्लियर लेकिन सिंगलर सॉल्यूशन जो है वो उस जनरल सॉल्यूशन से नहीं बनेगा ठीक है बट होगा वो सॉल्यूशन क्लियर सो ए डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन मे समटाइम्स हैव एन एडिशनल सॉल्यूशन व्हिच कैन नॉट बी ऑब्टेन फ्रॉम द जनरल सॉल्यूशन व्हिच कैन नॉट बी ऑब्टेन फ्रॉम द जनरल सॉल्यूशन बाय असाइनिंग ए पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू टू द आर्बिटरी कांस्टेंट सच ए सॉल्यूशन इज कॉल्ड ए सिंगलर सॉल्यूशन एंड इज नॉट ऑफ मच इंजीनियरिंग इंटरेस्ट ठीक है बट यहां सॉल्यूशन की बात हो रही है तो सॉल्यूशन तो वो है ठीक है हाँ ये अलग बात है कि वो जनरल सॉल्यूशन से नहीं आ रहा है क्लियर बट वो इक्वेशन को सेटिस्फाई कर रहा है सो दो टाइप ऑफ सॉल्यूशंस विच कैन नॉट ऑब्टेन फ्रॉम द जनरल सॉल्यूशन ओके बट दो सेटिस्फाई द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज नोन एज सिंगुलर सॉल्यूशन फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव गिवन दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन हैज द जनरल सोल्यूशन इज वाई इज इक्वल टू सी एक्स माइनस सी स्क्र रिप्रेजेंटिंग ए फैमिली ऑफ स्टेट लाइन वेयर ईच लाइन कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू ए डेफिनेट वैल्यू ऑफ सी ये तो ठीक है जब आप इसको सॉल्व करोगे तो आपका यह सोल्यूशन आएगा 
but a further solution y is equal to x square over 2, which cannot be obtained from this result, this expression, okay? This can be verified by substituting. This is the singular solution of 1, since we cannot obtain, we cannot obtain it by assigning a definite value to c in the general solution. Obviously, each particular solution represents a tangent to the parabola representing by the singular solution. Singular solution will rarely occur in engineering problems. Clear? So, in things, these are small definitions. Okay? One time, you have to read them. Okay? This is how they are made. This is what the solutions are. This is what the properties are. Okay? And one more thing before we formulate a differential equation. Now, question is, what is the geometrical meaning of a differential equation of first order and first degree, okay? And its solution. What is the geometrical meaning? This means what is the meaning of the differential equation? Okay, this is the differential equation. First order and first degree. I am telling you only first order and first degree of geometrical meaning. Okay, I am not talking about the difference between order and degree. Okay, whatever the differential equation is, first order, ordinary differential equation of first order, first degree, what is the geometrical meaning of the geometrical meaning? क्लियर और उस वो जो सॉल्यूशन रिप्रेजेंट करता है उसका मीनिंग क्या है उससे क्या समझे हम ठीक है सो कंसीडर एनी डिफरेंशियल क्वेश्चन ऑफ़ द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड फर्स्ट डिग्री कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एस डी बाई ओवर डी एक्स इक्वल टू एफ एक्स वाई एंड दिस एक्सप्रेशन कैन आल्सो बी रिटन एस फंक्शन ऑफ so we know that the direction of a curve at a particular point. अब मैं इस point को ले रहा हूँ, okay? इस point को ले रहा हूँ. The direction of a curve at a particular point is determined by drawing tangent line at that point. यहाँ से मैंने tangent line draw कर ली, okay? That one is tangent line. That is its slope is given by dy over dx at that particular point. We know this. Uh, this definition, okay? The direction of a curve of a particular point is evaluated by, by drawing a tangent line at that point. That is its slope that is given by dy over dx at that particular point. Let A naught, whose position vectors are x naught, y naught, be any point in the plane, in the x, y plane, okay? And let dy naught over dx naught is equal to m naught. Means m naught is the slope at this point, clear? Be the slope of the curve at A naught and that slope can be derived from this equation, okay? Take a neighborhood A1, take this neighborhood A1 and position vector is x1, y1 such that the slope of A naught A1, A naught A1 is M1. Let us suppose that uh, the slope, this A naught A1 is, that slope is M1, okay? Thus M1 is dy over dx1, dy1 over dx1 be the slope of the curve at a0 and m0 be the slope at the curve at a0 of the curve at a0, okay? So, m1 be the slope of the curve at a1 derived from 1. Take a, another neighborhood a2. Let us consider this neighborhood a2 whose position vector is x2, y2 such that the slope of a1, a2, this slope, okay, is m2, this slope is m2. Okay, this means m2 is dy2 over dx2, be the slope of the curve at a2 derived from 1. Clear? Continuing like this, we get a succession of the points. If the points are taken sufficiently close to each other, that is, if the successive points a0, a1, a3, a4 and so on are chosen very near to one another, the broken curve a0, a1, a3, a4 and like this, okay, approximates to a smooth curve C. And that C is y is equal to phi x, which is nothing but solution of differential equation. Solution of differential equation corresponding to the initial point A naught, which is equal to x naught, y naught. So any point on C, any point on this curve C and the slope of the tangent at any point to C satisfy one. Clear? So a different choice of the initial point will in general give a different curve with the same property, okay? Different choice of the initial point will in general give a different curve with the same property. That is, if the moving point starts at any other point not on C and moves as before, it will describe another curve. It will describe another curve, right? So, the equation of each such curve is thus a particular solution of the differential equation one, clear? The equation of the whole family of such curves is the general solution of one. 
Okay. So, the slope of the tangent at any point of each member of this family and the co coordinates, okay, co coordinates of that point satisfy one. So, what, what are the concluding remarks? Okay. After discussing uh, all these, uh, this uh, theoretical component, uh, what are the concluding remarks? Number one, particular solution is the equation of one particular curve obtained from the above method. Okay. Particular solution is the equation of a particular curve, particular curve, okay. particular solution kya represent karta hai, ek particular curve ko represent karta hai. General solution of an ordinary differential equation of first order and first degree is the equation of the family of curves. This one is a one particular curve, here family of curves obtained by the above method. And what is finally, an ordinary differential equation, ordinary, no, ya main solution ki baat nahi kar raho, ya main solution ki baat kar raho, particular solution ek curve ko represent karta hai, general solutions ek family of curves ko represent karta hai, but ordinary differential equation is representation of all the tangents of the whole family of the curves, all the tangents of the whole family of the curves, that one is the geometrical meaning of this differential equation and its solution, okay. So, that one is the concluding remarks which we can abstract from the uh, abstract from the previous two slides okay now next part is formulation of a differential equation kaise aap formulate karoge differential equation ko aur jab aap formulate karoge to aapko karna kya hai theek hai koi bhi ek curve de rakha hua hai theek hai usme kuch arbitrary constants honge purpose kya hai aapko differential equation banana और वो कैसे पूरा होगा जब आप आर्बिटरी कांस्टेंट्स को एलिमिनेट करोगे सो बाय एलिमिनेटिंग आर्बिटरी कांस्टेंट्स यू कैन फॉर्मुलेट ए डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ओके सो टू एलिमिनेट टू आर्बिटरी कांस्टेंट्स सो एन ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज द फॉर्म ऑफ ए एलिमिनेशन ऑफ आर्बिटरी कांस्टेंट्स फ्रॉम ए रिलेशन इन द वेरिएबल्स एंड द कांस्टेंट्स सो एन ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज फॉर्मड बाय एलिमिनेशन ऑफ आर्बिटरी कांस्टेंट्स फ्रॉम ए रिलेशन इन द वेरिएबल्स एंड constants to eliminate two arbitrary constants we require two more equations besides the given relation to dekhiye agar ek equation de rakhi hui hai agar do arbitrary constants ko eliminate karna hai to do aur equations aapko banani padengi clear and leading us the second order derivatives and hence we obtain a differential equation of the second order elimination of n arbitrary constants leads us the nth order derivative and hence we have differential equation of the nth order ye description jo hai ye jo definitions hai ye jo process hai you can understand with the help of this example question is form the differential equation of simple harmonic motion given by x is equal to a cos nt plus alpha okay to kaise aap differential equation iski banaoge theek hai so to eliminate constant a and alpha here we have this constant and this constant. So, eliminate these two constants. So, for eliminating these two constants, differentiating in twice, we get dx over dt and d square x over dt is equal to this. And this expression can also be written as minus n square x. Just simplify d square x over dt square plus n square x is equal to 0. This one is the required differential equation for this problem. Okay? This one is the required differential equation for this simple harmonic motion. So, जहां भी हम बॉडी की मोशन की बात करेंगे तो डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन की इन्वॉल्वमेंट आएगी आएगी डेरिवेटिव्स आएंगे आएंगे ठीक है सो दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रीक्वेंटली एग्जिस्ट इन ऑल ब्रांचेस ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एज वेल एज ऑल ब्रांचेस ऑफ साइंस ओके सो इन दिस वे यू कैन फॉर्मुलेट ए डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ओके वन मोर क्वेश्चन फॉर्म द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फ्रॉम दिस रिलेशन x a sin omega t b so, here we have this arbitrary constant and this one is arbitrary constants. Arbitrary ka mazal kuchhi value substitute aap kar sakte ho, fixed nahi hai ye, fixed constant nahi hai, okay, arbitrary constants hai aapka. So, given x is equal to a sin omega t plus b, so here a and b are constants and to eliminate these constants, differentiate one with respect to x, we get this, again differentiate with respect to x, we get this, just simplify, okay, you will get this differential equation which is the required differential equation for this problem. Okay. Similarly, form the differential equation x y uh, from the equation x y is equal to a e raised power x plus b e raised power x. So, we have given this equation. So, we here we have two arbitrary constants. Okay. Eliminate these arbitrary constants. So, while eliminating these arbitrary constants, differentiate one with respect to x, we obtain this. Again, differentiate, we get this. But 
a e raised power x plus b e raised power x is x y. So, substitute this value x y and that one is the required differential equation. Okay. So, this all about ordinary differential equation means differential equation, its classifications, ordinary differential equation, partial differential equation. Then we define what is order, what is degree of a differential equation and what about linearity. Okay. What is linear differential equation, what is non-linear differential equation. Okay. Then what is the geometrical meaning of the ordinary differential equation of first order and first degree and what is the geometrical meaning of solution of a differential equation. Then we formulate few differential equations from given relations. Okay. So, uh, from next lecture we will start a very, very important parts of this differential equation and that one is differential equation of first order and first degree. Okay. तो देखिए मैं थोड़ा सा इसको क्लियर कर देता हूँ जनरली ये जितने भी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन हैं इनका सोल्यूशन इवेलुएट नहीं किए जा सकते हैं जनरली ठीक है लेकिन कुछ पर्टिकुलर टाइप की सोल्यूशन पर्टिकुलर टाइप की डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन हैं ठीक है अगर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन उस फॉर्म में बनती है तो आप सोल्यूशन निकाल सकते हो ठीक है अदरवाइज डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन का नॉर्मली जो एग्जैक्ट सोल्यूशन है वो आपके पास नहीं मिल पाएगा अगर उससे हट के हम बात करेंगे ठीक है फिर हमारे पास न्यूमेरिकल मेथड्स ही एक टेक्निक बचती है जिससे आप डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन का सोल्यूशन निकाल सकते हो ठीक है सो नॉर्मली इट इज इजी टू वेरीफाई ए गिवन फंक्शन इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ ए डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ओके ये तो वेरीफाई करना बहुत आसान है कि आपके पास रिलेशन दिया हुआ है और आप प्रूव करो कि ये डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन को सेटिस्फाई करता है कि नहीं करता इट इज वेरी ईजी क्लियर बट while it is very difficult to find the solution of even the first order and first degree ordinary differential equation dy over dx is equal to fxy. So, it is very difficult to find the solution even this type of equation jiske hum shuruat kar rahe hai, okay. But on the other hand there are certain standard types, but on the other hand we have some certain standard types of first order and first degree ordinary differential equations for which solutions can readily obtained by standard methods. ठीक है अब कौन सी ऐसी फॉर्म्स हैं कौन सी ऐसी डिफरेंशियल क्वेश्चन हैं जिनका आप सोल्यूशन निकाल पाओगे ओके सो नाउ ऑन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस सम स्पेशल मैथड्स ऑफ सोल्यूशन विच आर अप्लाइड टू द फॉलोइंग टाइप ऑफ इक्वेश नंबर वन वेरिएबल सेपरेबल फॉर्म वेरिएबल सेपरेबल फॉर्म मीन्स दो डिफरेंशियल क्वेश्चन वी आर वेरिएबल्स कैन बी सेपरेबल ओके okay, आप वेरिएबल्स को सेपरेट कर दीजिएगा एक्स डी एक्स वाई डी वाई को सेपरेट कर दीजिएगा इक्वल लेफ्ट साइड आप एक वेरिएबल्स लीजिएगा दूसरी साइड दूसरा वेरिएबल्स लीजिएगा अगर इस टाइप की इक्वेशंस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन में फिजिबल है इस टाइप की फॉर्मुलेशन देन यू कैन फाइंड द सोल्यूशन ओके सेकेंड वन इज होमोजीनियस फॉर्म इफ द गिवन इक्वेशन इज गिवन इन द होमोजीनियस टाइप ओके देन यू कैन फाइंड द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन देन लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ये भी एक कुछ स्टैंडर्ड लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन है उस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मेट में अगर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दे रखी हुई है ठीक है तो वो डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन भी आप सॉल्व कर पाओगे लाइक लिबनेट इज लीनियर इक्वेशन ठीक है एंड देन नेक्स्ट वन इज एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फर्स्ट डिफाइन वट इज एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन अगर उस टाइप की अगर आपके पास डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन है इवन देन यू कैन फाइंड द सोल्यूशन और हर केस में हम उन प्रॉब्लम्स को भी डिस्कस करेंगे ठीक है जो थोड़ी सी सिंप्लीफिकेशन के बाद इस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्म में रिड्यूस हो जाती हो वी विल डिस्कस दो प्रॉब्लम्स आल्सो विच कैन इजली रिड्यूसिबल टू दीज स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म्स ओके सो सो नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट फोर फाइव लेक्चर्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फंडामेंटल टॉपिक्स वी हैव ओके सो इन अदर केसेज द पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन मे बी डिटर्मेंट नोमेरिकली तो यहां पर पर्टिकुलर नहीं होगा यहां हम जनरल सोल्यूशन आपको बताएंगे अगर इस टाइप की प्रॉब्लम आ जाती है राइट सो नेक्स्ट टाइम वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच